This is a 2019 RS Endeavour. Now this is an interesting one because this was built with a specific brief in mind. The owner of this one is a disabled chap and needed to have wheelchair access. And you'll see that when we go to the other side, just how cleverly that's been integrated. Now on this side, a couple of things to point out. The most obvious is this slide out, so that gives you more space inside the vehicle. And another thing I'll show you is down underneath here, because we've got storage that goes right across the vehicle underneath here. But that cassette there, that's the mechanism for the lift, which I'll show you when we go around the other side in a moment. It's quite cleverly done. So that closes up like so. We'll head on round to the back. It's a nice looking machine actually. And then there's a bit of storage in here. It's quite a narrow locker, but you could put maybe tools or other bits and pieces in there like so. But there is also, if we come round here, there's a much larger locker here. So that's a very useful area. You see it's lit as well. A load of space in there. These are the over carpets for it. It's got wooden flooring, but then you can put over carpets on if you wish. And then if we come around here, this is that lift. Now this will actually, if you drop these two sections flat, it will lift up and retract into there. The whole thing disappears completely. It's a very nice piece of engineering. You can see it's got this ramp up onto it. And that just makes it, of course, completely accessible. So what we'll do is we'll stand on this, we'll use this little fella here, push the up button. Now watch that little ramp at the end. That is a nice bit of engineering, isn't it? Just to point out while we're here, we've got a full uh, awning that comes all the way down the whole vehicle there. There's a satellite dish on the roof as well. That folds flat and then when you're using it, it lifts up and rotates and tracks the satellites. There's a Dometic air conditioning system on the roof as well and a standard TV area as well. Anyway, let's head on in. We'll pop that back in its little holder. Like so. And this is the interior. Very nicely done. I like the woodwork in here. That looks really good. This, of course, is that slide out. So that's what's giving the space and the width in across here. Let's go right to the front and work our way back. So it's based on an Iveco chassis and it's automatic transmission. So you can see there the selector for that. These seats obviously swivel around and it's just the usual Iveco dashboard. The other thing that we have up here I drop back a little bit. You can see how easy it is to access that, but actually if we pull this fella here down, that's actually a big bed up there and there's a ladder you can see just up the front there which will clip in over here and give you access to that. So that's a very nice thing that because as I say with that down you can still get in and out of there okay, but by lifting it up it just makes the access that much easier. Anyway, swing on around. Now both of these are beds. So if we lift up here, you can see how that slides out and they meet in the middle and gives you a big double bed right across here. There's a TV here as well. Up in this one you can see the controls for the uh, satellite dish. And then if we move across here, that one there is just a bit of storage. And then up here are the control panels for the vehicle. So in here we've got things like the uh, heating system, it's actually an Audi wet heating system. We've got the, um, the automatic levelling system that's controlled from here. So those are hydraulic jacks that go down and level the vehicle when you stop. The Audi boiler is here. Um, that is a control for the awning, I think I'm right in saying. And then you've got more controls for the domestic air conditioning and that kind of stuff in here as well. So that's where everything is controlled from. And then if I spin on round behind me, then you've got the kitchen area over here. So nice oven, grill and four burner hob. And there's even a little microwave up above it as well. And then storage up in places like this. There's the sink obviously underneath here with the draining. And then more storage down here. 
a nice colour scheme though, isn't it? I like this. I think that's really good. And I do like as well the way they've embossed this RS logo into here. That looks really smart. And some of the lighting as well, the way they've put it around here, that's um, obviously a ceiling vent, but you've also got the air conditioning up here as well. But there are more lighting along in places like this and around here. That's really good. So that is that area. All very roomy. But if we come on back a bit further, fridges on this side, by the way, didn't mention that. So that just opens like so, and a freezer underneath it. But then this is a pocket door, it slides. So that comes across like that. And that, as you can see, is all one level right the way through, so really easy to access. Big sink over on this side, and then you've got the toilet over here, and the shower. And then we can come back from here again, there's more storage then over here, like so. Again, some nice lighting solutions built in around places like this. Drawers down here. And then there's another pocket door, and this takes us then into this bedroom at the back. There's two single beds in here. And this then comes up over the garage. And if we come right back... Wardrobe in there. And in fact, there's another TV in here as well. That's up there. And more of this funky lighting. It's really nicely done. Overhead hatch and then windows on the side. These have got blinds, these have got uh, fly screens down at the moment, but those will rise up like that, and then you can bring these up, and those are your night blinds. And these are the heater outlets, and there's some lovely warm heating coming out of there. They put the heating on for me. It's a really chilly day today, so that's very nice indeed. And there we go, that's a nice machine, that. I like that, I love the finishes in here. I think it looks really good. And of course, it's very much fit for purpose. It has a specific uh, design brief, and it fulfills that very well. Fantastic. Let's head on back down here, and I think I'll take a seat over here. And I'll say huge thanks to Empire RV. They've got this one for sale. I'll put a link to those guys in the description, and huge thanks to you guys as ever for watching. We'll catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.